Welcome to Chisholm Trail 61. Today we're going to take two or three of our favorites. We're going to take some cornbread and some chili and some different things. We're going to make us a chili cornbread casserole. And I'm going to show you how to do that coming up right now. Okay, first thing we're going to need for our chili cornbread casserole in the bowl here, I have two eggs. Just two large, regular large eggs. And here I have two-thirds cup of milk. I'm going to add that milk to it. And I'm just going to whisk that up just a little bit. Just to get our eggs and our uh, milk mixed together there. And then next thing we're going to do, we got just some regular white sugar here. We're just going to drop in a couple of tablespoons now. This, this is optional. You don't have to add sugar if you don't want to. Uh, if you like sugar in your, in your cornbread, then you can. If you don't, then like I said, you don't have to. Give that a little bit of a stir just to get our sugar, you know, dissolved there. And here we got two, two bags, two, two containers, packages, boxes, whatever you want to call it, of the Jiffy Cornbread Mix. Now, you can use the homemade cornbread. I just know that not everybody likes to make cornbread. Not everybody likes homemade cornbread. So I'm going the easy route on this day, and I'm, I'm doing the jiffy cornbread. So that way everybody can do it. Everybody will have, have the recipe. But, yeah, if you want to uh, do the homemade cornbread, just make you about, uh, you know, two cups of uh Use about two cups of cornmeal in it. If you're just using the cornmeal, I make mine with just mainly with just cornmeal. Uh, I don't use flour in mine, but if you use flour, then you want to do one cup of cornmeal, one cup of flour when you do your home. And that'll give you the amount, you know, basically the same amount that you have here. One thing you don't want to do is over mix cornbread. You just want to get it mixed up good. And here we have a number 13 dish. We're just going to, we sprayed the dish just lightly with some cooking spray. And we're just going to put our cornbread mixture in here. We're going to set that over out of the way. Now, we got our oven preheated to 400 degrees over there. We're going to put this in. Uh, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes and then we'll take it out for a while that's cooking we're going to move over to the stove there and we're going to do the rest of our ingredients over there and so we'll be right back but when you do your cornbread if you're using jiffy mix just follow your directions on your boxes just use two boxes okay well our cornbread's in the uh, oven there getting done we're going to move on to the next step uh what i have here i got two pounds a ground beef. I'm just going to put it in the skillet there and uh, use a little chopper here and chop it up. Then that's two, two pounds of ground beef, hamburger meat, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's just chop it up. And what we're going to do, get it chopped up a little bit there. We got a uh, one just sort of between a small and a medium white onion we're going to add to our ground beef and we diced our onion up real fine there as you can see uh, we're just going to sort of chop this all up together and get it mixed up good Man, I tell you what, that's one of the best inventions they ever come out with for chopping uh, meat, you know, getting it uh, chopped up good in a skillet like this. If you ain't got you one of these things, you need to, you need to get you one. Them things, uh, you can pick them up at the dollar store for nothing, practically. Or you can go to Wally World, you know, Walmart, and get you one. Buy them about anywhere where they sell stuff like that. And you probably can even buy them in the grocery store. 
But uh, I mean, that is the thing there. Now what we're going to do here, we're going to brown the ground beef down. We're going to get it good and brown and done, completely done all the way through. And then uh, if there's any grease in there, we're going to drain it and then put it back in the skillet. And when we get uh, our meat done and stuff there, then we'll bring you back and show you what all we're going to add to it to make, make it that, that wonderful flavor. We'll be right back. Okay, we got our meat completely done there and drained and uh, put back in our skillet. And what we're going to do, we're going to add just about, probably about a teaspoon of salt to it. We're going to add probably about a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, salt and pepper is optional. You can use it or not. Uh, it really, you know, I just, I like salt and pepper. We got a packet of just chili seasoning here, uh, regular chili uh, seasoning that we're going to put in there. And we're going to stir that, stir that up, give that a stir there. We're going to turn our burner back on about medium heat. We're going to get that mixed up real good there. That's just one packet right now now of the chili seasoning. Just give that a little stir and sort of get it combined there. And what I have here, I got one can of the, uh, it's a 16 ounce can of the uh, diced tomatoes with the green chilies. And I'm just going to dump it in there. That's juice and all. Now I didn't drain it. It's it's, it's every, everything's in there. I'm just going to give it a little, just a little mixture there. Ain't going to mix it a lot right now. And then we got a second pack of chili seasoning mix we're going to put in. We only put the one in there at first because wanted to get it in, get it mixed in with the meat good. And before we added our tomatoes in the second pack, that way we got it, got it all going together there. Man, that's smelling good. It's looking good too. <laughs> I could eat it now. See, I hadn't had supper, man. This this is gonna be my supper tonight, and I'm I'm ready for it. I am so ready for it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get me just about a half a cup, between a quarter and a half cup of water. And I'm just going to put just a little, probably not even a quarter of a cup, maybe about like that, probably less than a quarter of a cup in there. We just want a little bit of juice in there. That's all. Just a little bit. Not runny, you know, not not where it's sitting in juice, but anything like that. But just a little bit of juice in there. What we're doing, we're just heating our tomatoes and stuff good and getting our uh, chili seasoning and our salt and pepper mixed up together. We just want to be sure that this is good and warmed up. Man, does that look like a good bowl of chili or what? Didn't know chili was that easy to make, did you? Uh, this is really a simple recipe, and it goes together quick. Now, we got our, we've already got a cornbread out of the oven, and it's sitting over on the island there cooling. You want to let your cornbread completely cool down, you know, once you take it out of the oven. Well... You know, cool down to where you can touch it real easy, you know, without the pan being too hot on you. Because you need your cornbread cool before you go on to the next step. That looks pretty good right there. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to cut this off and we're going to move back over to the island. And then we're going to finish her up over there. Okay. We over back over the island, and what I'm doing here, I didn't want to make y'all sit and watch me do all this, but I'm just taking the end of my uh, wooden end of my spatula here, 
and just poking me some little holes all in my cornbread like so. And tilt, if you take and spray the end of that uh, spatula with some cooking spray, it won't stick to your bread. On like you know, sometimes it wants to stick and pull your bread back up. If you'll uh, spray the end of it there with your cooking spray just a little bit, it won't do that. What we're gonna do now? We're gonna take our our chili mixture here, meat mixture, our chili. And we're just gonna spread it out over the top of our cornbread. Reason we put them holes in there, we want it to, you know. Add a little bit of juice and stuff to work down in, down into the uh, cornbread. Man, it is gonna be good. What you talking about? I mean, good. Any juice that's in there, your cornbread will just absorb up. And uh, it will be will be good. You want to spread, spread it out over, try to get it spread it even, and just sort of press it down a little bit, you know, when you when you get it, you know, as you spread it over it. And sort of, you know, not hard, not where you mash your cornbread flat, but you know, just press it down a little bit. Just to sort of make it settle down in them uh, holes that you poked in there. Take that. And what we got here, we got us some Mexican blend cheese. We got an eight ounce bag. And we're just going to put us a good coat of cheese over the top of it. You know, how much cheese you use is up to you. I'm... I'm gonna put a decent coat on top of mine because I like I like cheese too. And so I'm just gonna this is already shredded cheese and I don't know why, but they they got it shredded sort of thin some of it, you know, real little and I, I prefer bigger shreds, but this is what I got, this is what I'm gonna use. We're just gonna spread it around all over the top of it. I'm going to put this eight ounce bag on here. Like I said, you can uh, you can use less if you want to. You can use more if you want to. But to me, eight ounces is just about the right right amount for it. And you can you can see the layers there. If I can get that to come up, I'm going to show you the layers. You, you can see the layers there in that the cornbread. The chili, the cheese. Man, don't that look good? Hey, what we're going to do now, we still got our oven on 400 degrees over there. We never cut our oven off. We're going to put this back in probably for about another 10 to 15 minutes. And we're going to let our cheese get good and melted on top. And then we'll take it out and we're going to bring it back. And I'm going to show you how I top this thing off to eat it. Okay, we got our uh, chili cornbread casserole out of the oven there. And we've let it set and cool for about 15 minutes. We're going to cut us a piece here. And uh, I'm gonna get me out a little piece, and I'm gonna show you how I, what I used to top it off with. There, you look at them layers. Let me show you what I used to top it off with. I'll have to grab it out of the refrigerator because I forgot to get it out of the refrigerator before we started. But uh, I'll, I'll I'll show you what what I used to top it off with to eat it. And uh, what makes it makes it really go good takes it to the next level here we got just a little bit of salsa now that's a mild salsa you can use whatever salsa you want and then we're going to take i'm going to open up this sour cream here and i'm going to get me just a little bit of sour cream and i'm going to put on top of it if i can and man you talk about going to the next level i done made a mess here with that sour cream but uh, talk about going to the next level. Let me get that, that there wrapped up there so that don't, don't make a mess. But you look at that, that. Man, what you talking about? Hey, I can't wait no longer, guys. Got to go in for a bite.
Hmm. Man, what you talking about? So, I am ready for supper. I'm ready to eat, guys. That cornbread, chili. Top that sour cream. That salsa. Hey, you got to give this recipe a try. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. If you will, give the old video a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, subscribe to our channel. We appreciate all of you do. Hey, we appreciate all of you take the time eight days to watch our videos. Chili cornbread casserole. We'll see you on the next one.